roots. In this module, you will learn about an important part of a plant, the root. Sid is helping his father in gardening. Let us go and join them. Dad, what will you do with this sapling? I will plant the sapling in the garden. We will put the root of the plant inside the soil. Why only the root, Dad? Let us find out the answer to Sid's question. Roots, as you already know, are the underground part of a plant. It is difficult to uproot a plant from the soil because of the presence of the root. That is why Sid's father needs to put the root of the sapling into the soil. Now that we know the answer to Sid's question, let us study more about roots. Root absorbs water and minerals from the soil, which are then distributed to all other parts of the plant. Roots of some plants are swollen and fleshy in order to store food. For example, carrot and beetroot. Now, you have learned about the importance of roots. Let us now know about the different types of roots. There are two different kinds of roots found in plants. They are taproot and fibrous root. Taproot has one main thick root that grows from the bottom of the stem. Several tiny roots grow from the side of this main root. Taproot is found in plants like radish and carrot. Fibrous root, on the other hand, does not have a main root but various tiny roots of different sizes that grow directly from the plant. All of these are bunched together below the stem. Fibrous root is found in plants like wheat and rice. Let's recap. The root is that part of a plant which grows under the soil. Roots hold plants firmly to the soil. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. Roots of some plants are fleshy in order to store food in them. Roots are of two types, taproot and fibrous root.